Welcome, welcome. Today I am doing every room is a different budget challenge, but in The Sims 3. Yeah, you heard that right, The Sims 3. And I cannot even express how excited I am to be back playing The Sims 3. It will always hold a special place in my heart. I am really excited to try this challenge in The Sims 3, so let's get into it. Of course, as soon as I start this challenge and pull up to Sims 3, my computer literally freezes and it's lagging right now. So typical Sims 3 fashion, let's go to Twinbrook and see what's going on. Guys, the memories. Oh my God. Oh no, running this may cause severe graphical issues. Oh, we're doing it anyways. We're gonna put it on all high performance, okay? My PC is probably gonna blow up. I don't think that made a difference, no. Um, anyway, open world, oh my god. There was just so much more in Sims 3. Let's build on this lot. I'm gonna have to smooth it out though. Guys, you might think I'm crazy, but I think I wanna go for like a mid-century modern home. I know. I'll put a picture here, here somewhere of my inspiration, but I've been seeing for some reason a lot of mid-century modern homes pop up. So maybe we can try to tie this into this challenge. Okay, so I have a floor plan in the works and I'm thinking it's just gonna be a one-story home. We're going to have bedroom right here, bathroom right here, and then we're gonna have like living room, kitchen, dining room in this area. So I just have my random number generator here on Google and I'm gonna put it from 500 to I think 30,000 I should do. But first room, let's do kitchen, okay? 11,670, okay. Literally took me the longest amount of time to figure out how to set a budget for Sims 3. I'll leave a little thing about how to do it right here. So I definitely want some tile, something like this. Very simple. I think I want the kitchen maybe to span this area right here if we have enough money we could even we could do that make it go into a little hallway i like this i just want the top to be white the good thing about the sims 3 is that we can do that i like this open space right here maybe we can just put a trash can there not turning out half bad let's get some wallpaper in here though nothing really sticks out i mean if we made this a little bit lighter i don't mind this one um let's see cabinets these are the matching cabinets. I don't know if I'm in love with them. What else? I mean, we have $2,626 left. Oh my god, the phones. It's bringing back so many memories. Should we put a phone in the kitchen? Let's do it. Let's do a phone right here. I also might put a table right here. I think I might do a different wallpaper for this area. Maybe I'll do a wallpaper like this, but do a different color or like this. It's boring, but I don't know what else to do. Let's do that and let's change a little bit of the color. Okay, we're gonna use it for now. I'm gonna put in a little table right here. We still have $2,500, that's amazing. Ooh, that's cute, this little plant one. We can do like two or three chairs. Let's do this and I'll change. <gasps> Wait, how much were those? Oh my God, $950. No way. Okay, well, let's see. We could just have two of them and then put like a few paintings on this wall and be good with it. I really like these chairs. No, why they have to be so expensive? Maybe I'll just put this hanging plant here to spice it up a little bit. Maybe we can just have a little rug when you enter and kind of match it with the door. It looks hideous, but whatever. Oh my god, insufficient funds. Okay, we can't do that. Um, what should we do for $28? Are there any windows for that much money? I'm gonna get a cheaper microwave because I do want a window. Let's do one here and here. Okay, we have $3. I doubt there's anything for $3 on here. So I would give this kitchen like a 5 out of 10. It's not horrible. Could be a lot better though. Next, let's go do the living room next, which is going to be like this whole area. So I hope we get a good budget. Again, we're doing 500 to 30,000 and we have 12,988. Okay, let's put that budget in. Maybe we can do another big window on the side like this one. Let's do a wood floor. Let's do that and make it slightly darker. Okay, we got the wall, floor, and windows in. Let's put in like a fireplace. 
Ooh, this one's cool. I don't really know if it goes with our mid-century modern vibe, but I feel like I'm giving up on that. I would always use this couch. They have like the same one in Sims 4. I don't know why. I think it's like the ugliest couch now. Maybe we'll do like two of these couches or this couch in a chair. I don't think there's a matching chair to these couches. We could just do something in replacement of it like these and make them the same color. Okay, I tried to match them the best I could. It's fine. It's whatever. I'm gonna do this coffee table, but change the color again. Okay, what else do we need in this freaking green machine of a living room? I don't know why I decided to do this, guys. I think I'm just like going crazy right now. I don't think we have the size down tool. We don't, so this is gonna be a little tricky. Let's just do this rug, but make it a different color. I mean, that looks fine to me. This is like a very base game house. Oh, we could put curtains on the windows. I never do that. Oh God, guys, I am not keeping these. Don't worry. I'm placing them down and changing them. They, they have the weirdest patterns on here. Okay, it's like a white and black curtain. So let's just keep that. Magic jelly bean bush. Guys, The Sims 3 had everything, literally. Okay, let's do that. I think I might turn this bookcase into like a whitish wood. Okay, I guess this is part of the living room, like this entryway. So let's put a little entryway mat. And guys, we still have $6,000 left. What are we gonna use it on? I think I'm just gonna make the middle of this like not a themed fabric. Oh, look at that. Like that's, no, 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 no. I love all the choices, but if they do this in Sims 5, I think they should limit it a little bit because it's just too much, you know? I would get carried away for days and that's not healthy for me. Should we have a record player? I hate how it won't let you alt place it at all. So it has to go there. That's really annoying. I'll do this little CD thing and we can pretend it's for the records. Well, we still have $2,200. Should we do this moon? I mean, sun? We have like too much decor in this corner now. I might put this plant over in this corner. No, no. Oh my God, there's such weird things in here, guys. How plant and a candle, how lovely. The fishbowl's 80, so if we find like a little side table, to put it on, we can do that. Yay, guys, we did it. It's like the worst uh, looking living room I've ever made in the history of Sims, but we did it. Um, let's move on. Next, let's do the bedroom. We're gonna generate, oh my God, 28,558 for the bedroom. Are you serious? Really, why are we getting such high budgets? All right, so we have $28,558 for this room. That is crazy. Okay, we gotta get some light in here. Why is it so freaking dark? And then for the floor, let's do like a really expensive wood floor maybe. My Sims froze pretty bad after I used the color wheel, so I think we might have to stop doing that for a little bit, but let's see what we want um, for the bedroom wall. Again, I'm okay if it's expensive because we have $27,000 left for this bedroom. Okay, don't hate me, but I think I might do something like this because the top part matches the floor and I don't wanna go back into the color wheel because I think this game is gonna crash. And I think I might put it in a window right here because that's where I'm gonna put the bed. Let's copy this window because it's just gonna look better overall. We can find a nice, expensive bed. I feel like this is gonna be the fanciest room in the house. I like this bed the best, but it's only $2,500. So a little um too cheap for our liking. Guys, I might bite the bullet, do this one <laughs> and pray my Sims doesn't crash when I go into create a style. Let's give it its time. Let's just do that. It looks expensive. I'm gonna put in a TV and then a dresser below it. $20,000, okay. Um, we don't have the budget for that right now. We did in the beginning. We can do like a black and black. <sighs> the worst Sims build, guys. This is literally the worst Sims build in Sims history of histories, okay? 
This is gonna go in as like a cursed Sims video. So $6,000 left. Me, oh my. Let's put some stuff and clutter like on top of this, I guess. We could put a video game in here. Okay, we can do that one. And then we have $2,000 left. We could do another painting. Oh my God, I'm done with the paintings, guys. We do need a mirror in here. Maybe we can see how much mirrors are. Let's do that. What I might do is delete this window. Then I might put a painting above. It's gonna be fine. Everyone relax. Okay, let's do this painting. And what I'll do is I'll put two lights. Let's find an expensive light on the wall. And then I think that will use up the budget. We're left with $4. Oh, wait, I didn't realize that painting was still there. No. No, we still have so much money left now. I'm never doing this challenge again. We'll do the same painting, but we'll put it here. Now we have $900 left still. This is insane. I thought we were over and done with, but we're not. No, nope. couldn't be that easy, could it? Whoever's living in here is gonna be like a rock artist or something. I don't care. Okay, oh my god. Four dollars left, we're done. I'm over it. We're not going back to this room. Next, bathroom. Oh my god, I've never been so happy to decorate a bathroom in my life. Let's get to it. I kind of want the budget to be small for the bathroom, honestly. Let's see. No freaking way, guys. Are you serious? We got an even higher budget, didn't we? Two, eight, nine, seven, one. Let's do a tile floor and a really expensive wallpaper. This isn't even gonna make a dent into our budget, honestly. We could do a rain shower and a bathtub. Toilet. Okay, we're doing the color wheel thing again. Pray for me. I also need to put a light in here. Sorry if it's so freaking dark. I'm being such a horrible Sims player today. Like whoever's watching this video, guys, I feel so bad for you. We can put in two sinks. Like why not if we're this rich? Imagine having this problem in real life. Like, oh my God, I'm too freaking rich. $17,000 we still need to spend. To use up some of the budget, I might use this wall as well because it is connected to the bathroom. We can do a fountain outside the bathroom and we can do a picture above it. How do we have $12,000 left, guys? That's insane to me. Who knew this would be the hardest Sims challenge I've ever had to do? What else can we do for $12,000? Okay, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm just gonna leave it at this. There's literally nothing more I can do, honestly. So what I'm gonna do is, okay, number one, enough. I think I'm gonna use the rest of the budget for the outside. We can do a little sprucing up because we don't really have any trees or any shrubs or anything like that. The thing I forgot about is that Sims 3 has cars. We could give this lady a car. We still have a thousand dollars left. Wow. We are down to zero dollars exactly, guys. All in all, I feel like I kind of failed this challenge because I could not figure out that bathroom for the life of me. I mean, I don't know, what would you guys do? I literally was lost. Well, this is the house. The chimney now looks kind of like an eyesore, especially because there's two of them, but we're not redoing it, no way. But when you go into the house, we first had the kitchen and I think the kitchen turned out really well. I like how it looks, it fits the aesthetic. The next one we had was the living room. We couldn't put both a TV and a fireplace, so I chose the fireplace and it looks really messy. Like this part over here is really messy and then this part over here is fine but we're having a little bit of like a green moment going on, but whatever. Then we have the bedroom. Oh my God. Like I can't stand to look at it any longer. The bedroom is probably my least favorite room of the house. I just had to place random crap everywhere. It's not good. And then the bathroom, this fountain out here is part of the bathroom. It is a bathroom, like, I literally put in so many things to make us use up the budget, which was almost $30,000, but we ended up only using about half of that. So I used the rest for the outside, and I was able to put all these bushes in, this car over here, and stairs to go down to the river, and, like, an outdoor patio. Yeah, like, what else do I say about this house? Building in Sims 3 was definitely harder than Sims 4. I'm just not as used to it. And I feel like it doesn't look as good. Oh, 
I'm done. I feel like it doesn't look as good as my Sims 4 builds. Maybe it's just because the graphics or maybe I'm just really bad at building in Sims 3. When I played Sims 3, I was very young. So I never really built in the Sims 3. I just played the gameplay. I would tell you I'd put this on the gallery, but there is no gallery for this. And I'm quite thankful about that. But let me know what you think. Definitely not my best build. I am not proud of this, unfortunately, but it did bring back a lot of nostalgia. I hate to say it, but I think building in The Sims 4 and the build by mode is just 100% better than Sims 3. Overall, it runs a lot better than The Sims 3. I do miss The Sims 3 gameplay a lot and the open world. I feel like there was a lot more to do. Maybe I just haven't explored The Sims 4 enough, but that was every room is a different budget. And with all that said and done, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.